everyone. Welcome back to another video with OT Rex. This is going to be our playlist introduction for the neurodegenerative disorders. I decided to make a playlist for this to make it easier for you guys to lump all of these conditions together when you're studying and just remember that they're all neurodegenerative. So I remember when I was studying these, a lot of them just ended up sounding exactly the same. So I wanted to do a quick overview to break down all of these different conditions to make it a little easier for you guys to follow along. Neuro refers to the brain and degenerative refers to death. So together it would be the brain neuron death. So the brain cells are losing function over time in all of these conditions. Neurodegenerative disorders are typically progressive. They are chronic and they cause damage to the peripheral nervous system or the central nervous system, in some cases both. I put together a little chart for you guys because I feel like this is going to help break down all of the different conditions in one easy sheet. So this is a little cheat sheet. We'll share a Google Doc link for you guys as I made this chart from scratch. So I broke down the most common and studied conditions within OT and shared the main symptoms that go with it as well as the prognosis. So this should help break down the differences and the similarities between some of these conditions. So multiple sclerosis has the motor and cognitive skill loss. It has the fatigue and weakness, but the main thing I remember is the relapse remitting so I bolded that and people with MS live five to 10 years less than average. And then ALS also has fatigue and weakness, but it leads to muscle paralysis that starts distally. And for someone with ALS, um, they are likely to have a life expectancy of two to five years after diagnosis. And some people live longer. Guillain-Barre, Syndrome is associated with the symmetrical flaccid paralysis, and I think that's very unique to Guillain-Barre, and that also comes with muscle weakness and minor cognitive difficulties, but 50% of people who get Guillain-Barre have full recovery. So if you guys remember this video or look at it next, there is a remyelination, and about 15% of individuals will have permanent disability. Huntington's disease is hereditary. So I put hereditary in there because not all of these are. It's actually just this one on this list. So H for Huntington's and H for hereditary, hereditary Huntington's. And this one is progressive loss from a cognitive and motor standpoint. And I bolded Korea because of the irregular rapid movements that come with it that are unique to Huntington's disease. The prognosis is 15 to 20 years of life expectancy after diagnosis. Parkinson's disease has motor and cognitive skill loss, and this is due to the decrease in dopamine production. I always remember dopamine with Parkinson's disease, and you also see that resting tremor. Life expectancy is typically not impacted for Parkinson's disease. Alzheimer's disease is one of the most common forms of dementia, and this one leads to progressive memory loss, but down the line as it gets more and more severe, you also have self-care and eating and all these day-to-day -day daily skills also being impacted. So it's an eight to 10 year life expectancy after diagnosis, but some people live longer depending on the age of diagnosis and other environmental health factors as well. Dementia, of course, is progressive memory loss, and it's a broader term for other conditions that cause memory loss. So for example, Alzheimer's, as well as Parkinson's disease dementia, which is a specific type of Parkinson's disease. And the prognosis is pretty similar. So I just copied the Alzheimer's disease prognosis since that's the most common type of dementia. 
The prognosis will just depend on the person's circumstances. The main things to remember for OT intervention for neurodegenerative disorders is environmental modification, energy conservation, adaptive equipment, cognitive compensatory strategies, and client and family education, of course, for safety and home exercise programs. And that concludes the overview for neurodegenerative diseases. I hope you enjoy this playlist. Good luck.